this is Amy from the Kids Corner and today we're going to paint ladybugs. So um, you can paint your ladybug on anything. I'm going to show you on paper today, but feel free to, to use rocks or um, wood disc or anything else you can think of. And we're going to start by drawing a circle, a simple ladybug sketch, outlining it and the colors and then some more details in the background and finally all the final little details. For this craft, you're going to need some water, a pencil, um, two paint brushes, one to do the outline, so a small detailed brush, and then a flat brush to fill in the spaces. And then you'll need white, black, red, and whatever color you want for the background. Plus a rag to wipe your, your brush off in between is in between colors is a good idea. Um, you'll also need paper or rock or your wood, whatever you're going to be painting. We're going to start with the circle. I'm going to use um, a Sharpie instead of a pencil, just so that it shows up better for the camera. But, so we start with our circle. And since this is just a sketch and it's just to get an idea, we don't have to be too perfect with anything. To make your ladybug shape, you add a little heart shape on the bottom and going around the sides. And then some, this is the middle part of the body. And then we'll add the head eyes and then antenna give it a little bend facing in and then for the legs you can see that the legs have a little bend so we do a short part and then a longer part the top ones go up and then up more and the bottom two go down a little bit and then down more so the top ones go up and then bent and then up more up bent and up more and then the bottom ones face down and then that bend down and then that bend down bend down bend you can see that I placed the top ones right where the the middle part the thorax meets the abdomen and then the other two are just slightly below with the bottom leg being about halfway um, on the, the ladybug's abdomen so now we're gonna get our paints. I like to start by wetting my paintbrush a little bit and then wiping it off and let's get some black paint on our brush. So we don't have to be too careful here because since we're painting the um, outline first and then the colors up against the outline, you can kind of um, fix it anything that you don't really like by making the color overlap the outline. And that's what makes this method of painting so easy hard to make mistakes. I'm just going to trace all your lines. Leave the legs off right now. It's easier to paint those over the background instead of painting the background around them. And then these white spots on the ladybug's um, thorax and, and head, um, some ladybugs have those white spots and some don't and they're different on there's so many different species of ladybugs that those white spots can be different patterns and different shapes. I'm using this as, as a um, basic pattern that I'm gonna copy, but feel free to experiment and play with it a little bit. I'm just gonna draw a little M there, kind of little square type spots there, and then fill in the rest black. And on the head, I'm gonna leave a little white spot there. I mean, I'm pretty heavy on the paint. The look we're going for is that it is painted, so I'm, I'm happy to see my brush strokes. All right. So once I have the outline of the body, you can let it dry, which I'm out in the sun, so I see that my outline down here that I did first is already dry, so I'm gonna move on to the red. Now, when I do this, I put a generous amount on my paintbrush and then I'm gonna pull it along the edges, carefully drawing the shape I want. So in places I'm going over that black, and I'm kinda making that line a little bit thinner where I want it. A 
A lot of red paints don't cover completely, so you might have to do a few um, layers of the red to make it cover more. So I see it's drying up, so I'm just doing my other layer. Just like the black, I'm putting this on quite heavy. Obviously it covers up better that way. And the acrylic paint's quite quick drying, so there isn't too much downtime. All right, so my next step, I'm gonna paint the background blue. So I make sure I get all the red off my paintbrush. See, I have that, and I dip in my blue paint. It's drying in the sun already, but. Okay, so again, I put a lot on my paintbrush and I use my flat paintbrush to guide around my ladybug. I'm going right over those legs, but I'll, I'll paint them back in with black once the background dries. And you can use this as an opportunity to reshape your ladybug outline if you want. If you cover the outline too much, that's okay, because our final step is to go in with a, the detail brush and, and just make any line that we want crisper and add a few details. So I'm just gonna go over the background one quick time Again, to just make it a really solid color so it really stands out. Okay. So now we're gonna draw in our spots for our ladybug. So I'm gonna use this pattern because it's a common pattern where the spots in the middle are big and they touch in the middle and then there'll be three on the outside. But the, the amount of variation in their spots is, is endless. So I'm gonna use my detailed brush for this. One thing about ladybugs is they are always symmetrical. So um, try to make your two sides match. Okay, I'm gonna paint some of the details. I'm gonna make his eyes nice, big and round so they really stand out. And since my background's dry, I'm ready to start um, painting his antenna and his legs. So for the antenna, make it go out and curve in. They just have short antenna. And for the legs, we'll remember our, our front legs going up and then bending. Up and then bending. And then a little bit down. Out and bend. Out and bend. If you want to make it a little bit more detailed, you can make the top part of the leg a little bit thicker. Add little claws to his feet. I just do a little like V at the end of each of them. And I see some outline that, that I don't like the way it ended up, so I'm just gonna go wherever I feel my outline should be a little bit thicker. I'm just gonna touch it up. And the last final spot, take the end of your paintbrush, dip it generously in paint, and make a little shine mark in his eyes. It just makes his eyes stand out. And there we have our final ladybug. So now that you learned how to draw ladybugs, I'm going to teach you how to use the exact same idea to draw any beetle. If you notice any of these different beetles, they all have the same thing. They have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Then they have the six legs coming out um, near where the two last parts attach. So with that in mind, you can either go out and find a beetle or find a picture of a beetle and, and copy it with that idea, or you can just make up beetles. So let's say we wanna start with a beetle that was a more oval shape like this. So instead of starting with a circle as our basic shape, we just start with an oval. And once we do that, we can start just playing with different shapes. Here's the abdomen. Let's draw a very long thorax and let's make a very long head too. So then we do antenna, eyes, legs, same idea where the front two they point up, the bottom two point down, and there we have a basic shape. We can add details like splitting where the wings are, um, we can add spots if we want, really play with it and 
do anything you want. You can see with this idea, there's endless possibilities in different beetles you can make. And I recommend you go outside and start getting inspiration from the beetles that are around your home. All right, thank you.